what's up with Jasper? Uh, well, uh, what I can say is I was with the uh, the group when the gas canisters came in and the mountain men raided us. So uh, I think it's pretty fair to say that Jasper's in Mount Weather. Um, how he's going to deal with that, I can't quite say. Um, he's gone through a lot, so it could be either really good or really bad. Uh, Do you have like post-traumatic stress from the experience? I mean, I think Jasper's had post-traumatic stress since he got speared. So, uh, yeah, he's already had that disorder this whole time, and I think maybe he was like, you know, distracted by it um, during war because there's nothing to really think about except people are trying to kill you. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting season for, for Jasper and for everyone. Ultimately. Well, again, if they're in Mount Weather, they're assuming that's where they are. I mean, these are kids who were incarcerated, then they were supposedly freed by being put back on Earth. Going back into an incarceration situation might be hard for some of them. It's true, yeah. I mean, it, it could be, yeah, it could be very troublesome for many of the characters. Um, I, I don't know what I can really say about uh, Mount Weather, uh, <laughs> except that, you know, it's... It's never, I don't know, like, this show, you think you know what's going on, and you probably don't. So, uh, that's, that's all I can say about that. Way. But there's no time jump. You guys pick up right where we left Yeah, we're right where we left off. Um, and, uh, yeah, from the clip we just showed, uh, you know, Clark is having a lot of trouble <laughs> dealing with where she is right now. And, uh, yeah, being incarcerated your whole life and then having freedom and fighting for your freedom and then losing it again uh, is, I, I couldn't imagine it, uh, but it would suck. <laughs> and that's just how she deals with it. How did it feel for her to come back into the second season with all the, the same cast again? So it's so great. It's awesome. I, I love everyone on the show. Um, we're like a family offset. It's like, you know, we do dinners. And we used to do like Sunday dinners and me and Bob golf. And uh, um, I make music with Monty, Chris uh, Larkin. And uh, yeah, it's it's great. I, it's, it's like going back to another home, which is nice. Was it easy to put back the skin out of uh, Jasper? Yeah, you know, I, I love Jasper. He's, he's pretty similar to... To me, I feel like, you know, aside from the PTSD thing, um, he's a lighthearted kid and likes to have fun. And, um, and yeah, it was cool to, to play that transition from this sweet boy to kind of this uh, nutcase who uh, becomes this unsuspected hero because of the courageous acts that he commits, which are ridiculously dangerous and stupid of him to do. So um, it's fun playing that part, but I, I always enjoy bringing back, like you know, that that heart that Jasper has. And I always say the reason he survived that spearing is because uh, nothing, no, nothing can uh, can beat Jasper's heart. You know, no spear can break Jasper's heart. Um, and that's corny. And I'm gonna go now. Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, how does Jasper react to his situation at the beginning of season two? Hmm, I can't... I mean, how does see, he I, rise to the occasion? Or? I, I don't know what I can say about that, but I, I mean, there's... What I can't... I, maybe I can phrase it this way. There's probably two ways you could uh, react in a situation like this. It either seems great or terrifying. And um, I think... You know, there's not, it's never just black and white on our show, so uh, like with the Grounders, you see perspective of why they were attacking us. You know, we came down and ruined their world, you know? Um, so it's really, it's never going to be straightforward. Um, and that's what's cool about it. You know, whether we're right or wrong, there's so much more to uncover uh, that we haven't seen and that none of our characters know is going on. So, uh, yeah. I mean, what kind of fan feedback did you get on the finale? What kind of fan feedback? Oh, um, I mean, it was awesome to, to, you know, we do all the live tweeting and, and stay connected to the fans and stuff. And uh, uh, it blew up, like, I think at like 2 p.m. that day, even before the show started. Like, it was already trending. And then, uh, you know, keeping up with that and. Uh, and yeah, it's there, the main thing was the whole Finn and Bellamy, are they still alive, uh, which I loved. Um, it's a great cliffhanger. Um, we all love them. So, uh, 
Yeah, I, the, the fans are awesome. It's so cool to see people reacting so strongly. It means, you know, we, we did our job, right? I think. Hopefully, you know? Um, and yeah, uh, I, it's always funny when, like, Jasper screws up with, like, the, you know, trying to set the bomb off with the fire, uh, charring the grounders and stuff. Because I get always a slew of people being like, you blew it again. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'll take the heat from that. But. Do you think he was robbed of his hero's moment because he did kind of get everything working in the end? He did get it all working in the end, yeah. And, you know, he kind of saved the day. And, you know, I just wish Jasper had a little recognition for these crazy things he does for everyone, you know? Forgets the girl. Yeah, <laughs> never gets the girl, you know? He did for a second. <laughs> um, that was something that I think has already been leaked, though, is that there might be possible love interest for Jasper. A new one. Season two, yes, a new one. Oh, new blood. That's um, exciting. So that's, yeah, that's already been teased, I think, so I can say, I have no idea what I can say here, guys. Yeah, what was the most shocking like. moment from season one for you? Um, visually, for me, uh, living the moment was when Murphy was hanged, just because from the angle I was in, amongst like 90 extras, uh, and all screaming and like they're they're more than like background performers. These guys, they they are the environment. They're you know they they bring so much to the table, and it, it's so great that they are all like 100% and they're like 110% because. Without them, it'd be kind of a dull situation, you know, it's like, it's not the hundred without all these people, you know, feeling these emotions and not just like being in the background. They are, they are the show as well. So that moment where everyone's screaming, hang him, like, don't do it, kill him, like, float him, uh, all that madness. And then seeing uh, Richard hanging there, um, I couldn't see the wire. It literally just looked like we were hanging one of our friends. Um, so that was like, I had to go home and have a cold shower and watch a comedy and reevaluate my life a little. Uh, and then to watch, I mean, maybe the calling, uh, killing 300 people, um, sucking the, the air out of, uh, out of them was pretty dramatic and sad and just so heavy to watch. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's tons of moments where, we were talking about this earlier, but you know, you read the script, you act it out, you see it happen, and then you watch it, and like, uh, it's it's a gift to, to watch it and then see it through new eyes, even though I know it's gonna happen. Uh, I still get excited by uh, many parts of the show. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool to be like a fan of something you're doing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, like with Murphy, he's still out there. Mm -hmm. Are we going to necessarily see him interact back with the original 100? You know, Murphy's like a cockroach. I feel like <laughs> you just can't get rid of him. Or, you know, you could stomp on him a thousand times and he's still going to be hiding behind the toilet. Um, yeah, he... I, I don't know what I can say about him, but like Murphy somehow survives everything. Uh, and... Uh, He's just a never-ending never force of evil. But maybe we will see another side. I don't know. That. But well, these that, kids are yeah. remarkably hard to kill. It, which is surprising. Certain ones, certain ones are. You know, we've got a lot of. You know, we, we've got a lot to live for, and we've we've had three generations in space trying to preserve the human race, and so that's a huge weight on us as well. Is is that you know we've worked this hard, and our ancestors have worked this hard to keep the human race alive. Um, and then to be landed, Litton to land in this area where there are other human beings, but they are nothing like us. Um, and they've lived a whole different life, and then them clashing is it's cool to see history repeat itself. Why are yeah. people going to want to tune into season two of The Hundred? I mean, I think what's so cool about season two is we're going to explore a world that we've never seen before, just like the first season. You know, we we're going down to Earth for the first time. Um, with this, we're going to see what Mount Weather is. And within Mount Weather, there's so many corridors and twists and turns, and there's going to be things in there that will be very freaky and, uh, and eerie. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's just cool that we're exploring new parts of the world. And I, what I love about the show is that it's you know it takes place on Earth like we've never seen it before, 
Um, and there's, we're only in this small pocket. So once we start to explore the other pocket, what else is out there? And that's what I think uh, we'll get a taste of in season two. Great, thank you.